Amy Roloff reveals how she told husband Chris Merrick she loves him. Amy Roloff's first, I love you, to husband Chris Merrick is even sweeter than you can imagine. I might have written it in a card or something of that sort. Amy, 61, teased as the couple played the not-so-newly-married game exclusively with Us Weekly. Because that's a safer way to say I love you instead of verbally. Both Chris, 61, and Amy agreed that she was the one who said those three little words first. While Amy couldn't remember exactly when she first confessed her feelings, she was confident she put it in a special message for Chris. Because I knew, you know, with Chris, never having been married or having kids or anything like that, that someone had to say it first after dating for a while, she recalled. I'm a big fan of it's never going to be a perfect moment. You just have to pick the best moment. Amy believes that Chris was looking for the perfect moment to tell her. Chris, for his part, shared that he also remembered Amy first saying, I love you with a card, and teased because it was easier for him to read the words so he could figure out his reaction. But Amy's really good about giving cards, he gushed. In fact, I usually get at least three cards for every occasion, no matter what the occasion is, and she always writes something really special and thoughtful in there. Amy and Chris tied the knot in August 2021 after five years of dating. The ceremony was held at Roloff Farms, which she once shared with her ex-husband Matt Roloff, who was not invited to the nuptials. Amy had fond memories of the estate, as it was the place where she raised her and Matt's four children, twins Zach and Jeremy, daughter Molly, and son Jacob. Upon their 2015 split, Amy sold her portion of the farm to Matt. He initially wanted to sell the estate but ended up turning it into a rental property in 2022. In a February 2024 episode of Little People, Big World, Amy opened up about how it was a struggle to see tenants in her family's former home. I never pictured that the house that I raised my kids in for the last 30 years would be a short-term rental. There should be a family or someone in it, Amy admitted during a confessional. Matt owns it all, it's not like I wish him ill will. It makes sense, you know, for Matt to do it. I mean, from a business perspective or anything, it definitely makes sense. 